Hello everybody, this is Evi Led Painting Studios. This is Josh and today we have a very special presentation and tutorial. Thanks very much to Matt Willingham for sending me some of these beautiful common goblins from the 4th edition era sculpted by the Goblin King himself, Kev Adams. And this will be a hobby project detailing some of the conversions, some of the modeling aspects and painting that will go along with it. So I hope you enjoy this series of videos. Starting with a standard bearer. Now, of course, the standard bearers came with very short banner poles. So I'm going to show you how to make a proper banner pole. We need a pair of clips like um, snippers or however you want to call them. We're going to cut the metal. We need a needle file. That's a very flat one. A pin vise with a one millimeter drill bit, a, a paper clip, and some super glue to start with. In addition, to make the banner pole, we'll need some plastic rod that's sold through Tamiya. It comes in two millimeter. So first we need to be very brave with our little goblin. We need to snip off the top of the banner head. So we're going to take that off, we're going to get our needle file, and we're going to start filing that down so it's nice and flat because I need to drill in there later on and we'll show you the steps of how to do that so we need to file that first very flat then we need to just sort of measure up by eye to how tall and the length of the banner pole we need to uh, where it needs to be at now we can adjust this and I actually do that uh, later on in the video I find that that's quite it's too long so adjust it later and the crossbar because it's going to be a crossbar banner pole so we need to make that uh, the top cross section and then instead of trying to pin that very small section of the original banner pole I've just cut it off at the top of the hand and then I'm going to use my needle file to flatten that down at the top of the goblin's hand. After doing that, I'm going to take a very sharp scalpel, so be very careful when you're using sharp knives. And we're going to make a cross section. And that's going to be like a pilot hole for the drill bit to drill into, so that we're not sort of, you know, the drill's not sort of going from left to right and then coming off and, you know, stabbing you in the, in the thumb or finger, which I've done many times. We're just going to make a nice cross section, try to get into the center of where we want to drill into. Using a pin vise, start drilling very carefully. Don't put too much pressure because you don't want that drill bit to slip. Make sure you've found that pilot hole center where that cross hole is and um, then start drilling. We want to drill in about at least three to four millimeters deep to put our pin. So as you can see here, we've got a nice deep and deep hole to place our pin in. Okay, from here we can sort of just have a quick look to see that it fits up nicely. There's no big size difference between the 2mm rod and the original banner pole itself. If there might be a slight size difference, well, I don't think it's going to matter too much. We need to file the ends of those PVC rods flat. So with our needle file, just go ahead and just file it nice and flat because we need to also drill those sections so again I'm going to cut that little cross hole section there to make my uh, pilot uh, pilot hole okay so once you've done that be careful not to cut yourself of course then grab the drill vise and then start drilling a hole and plastic as it's plastic it's going to be quite nice and easy and you can see probably see the tip of that drill going through there and you want to drill again four to five millimeters deep into the PVC rod. Bending out our paper clip, we're going to take some super glue and we're actually going to glue that into the PVC rod. And I'm going to just cut it here just so that I have a section there that can dry. Just make sure it's straight. And yeah, just sit it there for dry, to dry for just a moment. And do this on the other side of the banner pole as well.
Okay, so at, for that top section of the banner pole, you need to make sure the ends are nice and clean and flat. So with your needle file, just make sure those sections are done before moving on. Uh, you can see now that I'm just making a sort of a dry fit to see, okay, well, that's going to be about the center. Now, if you look at the grid on my cutting board, well, that'll give me the perfect way of trying to measure uh, just by eye uh, where the center of that cross, the cross beam will be. So I'm just sort of just looking now to see what it's going to look like uh, when it's all put together and everything looks fine. Just dry fitting it here. Yep, that looks nice where it is there. And now we're sort of just measuring to see where the center is. So we're going to mark that with a pen initially. And then you're going to see me using another file. Now this one will be a round file, round needle file. Uh, the reason why I'm using this is so that I can then use that to press down onto the center. Holding it down, I can make a nice little pilot hole uh, section for my drill because I need to drill through that into the center of it. And it's going to be very difficult to do that on a very concave surface. It's quite slippery with that PVC. So I'm doing that so I've got a nice little divot in there that I can use to drill into, which I'm going to do right now. I'm going to drill straight through to the other side using my one, one mil drill bit. Here we go, just going to just clean that through a bit so it's nice and uh, nice and clean. Take that out. And here we've got another dry fit here. Oh, look at that. So we've got our nice cross beam section here for our banner pole. Uh, you'll notice that the uh, the pin itself is too short so I'll need to pull out that pin and uh, put a, a larger one in. Now for the top decorative piece here on the top of the banner pole again uh, as we've folded flat already let's make that cross section for the pilot hole drill that in for another three four millimeters at least you want it at fairly deep so they can hold the, the pin's got something to hold on to here I am just um, readjusting the pin length. Uh, again, another dry fit to just check if everything's okay. Yep, yeah, looks pretty good. Let's put it all together and see what it looks like. Now you need to cut that pin, uh, obviously to make it suit and fit the top of the, the banner pole there, which it does nicely. So then we add, add some glue. It's ready now. We've done our dry fits. Everything fits okay. Now we're ready for the gluing process. So glue that first. Add a bit more glue to the top and our decorative banner head. So at this stage we've pretty much completed the banner pole extension now and uh, we can see here now I did adjust the height of the banner pole again because I felt it was just too long and uh, I didn't want it too high. Then we've got that plastic base. I did clean up the goblin as well, just using the needle file and my model knife, just to shave off any flash on the model, uh, as well with the, the banner head of the banner pole there. Just dry fitting it again. Yep, looks pretty cool. Just, just wanted to know exactly where I want to situate the banner uh, when I've attached it to the base, uh, just so I get all those things ready before actually making the final commitment and gluing it all down. So he looks pretty good, our little nitwit, and I think it's time to attach his banner, uh, his banner pole, so he's very excited now. So guys, as we approach the end of this tutorial, I hope that you can see that it's not overly technical not overly complicated if you have the tools and you have the materials uh, it's very achievable so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you have any comments please leave them below i'd really appreciate your feedback and look forward to the next video as i go to paint this beautiful iconic model in my collection thanks again to matt for this wonderful gift uh, i really appreciate that matt Thanks again guys for watching this video. If you'd like to show your support and appreciation, please consider listening to the podcast, share it with friends and like-minded people, and also please become a Patreon. Thanks very much for watching. Take care. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.